The uh, Karl Rove, the buzz around Karl Rove is becoming, uh, wow, intense, I would call it, extremely intense, especially over the last couple of days. And I'm going to make this video basically on the buzz. Um, certainly uh, at Dig, I'm spending more time at Dig than I am at YouTube. Uh, slight confession there. Um, and let me just tell you the situation, um, the, some of the top Dig articles. Uh, Dig is a you know, website for rating, uh, rating other articles and rating videos. And, um, oh, let me tell you, the, the, uh, there's a put Carl Rove in jail petition. And I, I'm going to put, link that up in the box. Um, it's, it's, I think, send Carl Rove to jail dot com. There's a, there's a website now. It's called send Carl Rove to jail dot com. And you go over there and you sign a petition. And the petition, well, you, I'm not saying you have to. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, if you want to sign a petition, you can. Um, and right now there are 50,000 signers. Um, uh, I don't know when this petition was started. And I just learned about it yesterday. Um, and then there's another website, Don Siegelman. This was the Don Siegelman was the governor of Alabama who apparently was railroaded into federal prison by a U.S. attorney who was being was well connected with Karl Rove and the Bush administration. They wanted to get Don Siegelman. They wanted to first get him out of office. They they wanted him to, and they 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 couldn't beat him at the election. They couldn't beat him in an election. So they decided even if he was sitting governor, they would charge him with a federal crime and use the U.S. attorneys in Alabama to nail him. And he was eventually convicted of something, bribery, I believe it was. And Don Siegelman spent, I don't know how, but he's been in jail for, pr prison for two years, is it? I, someone correct, correct me. I, I don't know how, two years, three years, I'm guessing. Three years, four years, whenever Carl Rove really started to go into high gear and use these U.S. attorneys. So Don Siegelman has a real axe to grind, I would say, against Mr. Rove. Um, pretty much destroyed his career, let's say, let's say that. So Don Siegelman now is saying, uh, now, to, now is time to do real justice <laughs> and uh, go after So you can go to Don Siegelman's, former governor of Alabama's website, and you can sign it. A letter to your congressman. I'm not sure. It's. I think it's a letter. You know. I don't know if it goes to both senators and your representative or just your representative. But check out the John Siegelman. Then you've got David Iglesias, and he's just come out with a book. And he is. He would. David Iglesias was one of the fired U.S. attorneys. He was uh, in New Mexico. I think, New Mexico or Arizona. I think it was New Mexico. He was the United States attorney, and he was one of the f ones that were fired because Karl Rove said, get rid of them, uh, get rid of uh, these eight attorneys. There, there were probably more on a longer list. Who knows? There were lots of lists that Karl Rove kept. Um, <laughs> and so they got rid of um, David Iglesias. So Iglesias now, he uh, has decided. See, Karl Rove has now pissed off and screwed so many people now that they're a, lo they're, they're, they're a long list. They're waiting in line. <laughs> You're waiting in line to talk on MSNBC and CNN and, I don't know, and write books. It, it, so Carl Rove has got to be feeling the heat. So I will link all those websites up and all the popular videos and the popular articles. Oh, and Linda... Uh, Sanchez on the House Judiciary Committee says that Karl Rove should go to jail for contempt of Congress, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So listen, I think we may get our wish. I think Karl Rove may have only charged with something. Perhaps. We will, we'll just have to see. Bye-bye.